just take a nice breath in. Exhale that breath. Just allow yourself now to relax more and more. Because from this moment in time, there's nothing, nothing of importance for you to do. Hey humans, welcome to Scarlet Letter Show, Season 3, Episode 6. This is your host, Scarlet Santa Maria, providing a space for self-expression for San Diego's electronic music artist. If you want to see our faces right now, we're looking damn good. You can watch the live stream right now on Facebook. Just search for Scarlet Letter Show. I didn't go out last weekend, y'all, because I was sick, and I still can am, actually, because, you know, a girl can't stay home for too long. And... I don't have any event stories, but I did go to my guest's birthday party. It was hey. late. <laughs> it was great to catch up with the West Coast Weekender family and enjoy a nice evening together. So shout out to all the homies. But I'm feeling a lot better and I'm well enough to party this weekend if the heat allows me. <laughs> so I'll let you all know about my adventures uh, next show. And for now, I want to ask whoever is here or listening or watching the live stream to drop your favorite summer jams. So I have something new to listen to. I feel that usually during the summer, I'm feeling like some deep house or tropical house, but let me see what you got. And now it's time to introduce my guest of the night. And I'm really excited to announce because I'm the first one to ever interview her. So yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> and her name is Kali. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. How are you feeling? Um, Great. Great. I mean, a little nervous, like I told you. I know. I think I should be fine. <laughs> well, there's nothing to be nervous. I understand it's your first time getting an interview, but yeah. I strive to provide like a comfortable atmosphere, and yeah. I hope that you f you feel comfortable because that's that's, good. that's the goal. Yeah. And I just need you to get a little closer to the mic, please. Okay, sounds good. So tell me, what genres do you DJ? So I'm like house, deep house, tech house, um, but mostly deep house is like my go to go to like that's what i listen to every day and where did the love for these genres emerge from uh i think it was about 12 years ago i want to say um just you know hanging out with my friends in mexico in rosarito was my first party like oh, my really? yeah what was electronic. It? oh my god i think it was pop <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of it. Yeah, it was it was a long time ago. Um, I don't even know if he's. I think he's around actually. I'm not okay. Um, but yeah, it was like just my first experience, and I was like wowed. Like, about I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, can I do this again? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So yeah. And how long have you been DJing for? So behind, so like I, so after that, I guess like two years after I started. So I had my, I went to see Frankie Knuckles for the first time. Oh, and you that, did? Yeah. Whoa, in, the godfather um, of LA, house music. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I was one of, I was fortunate to, to see him before he passed. And that experience for me was just like, that was a on defining another moment. Level. Yeah. For me, that was the moment where I was like, whoa, like if I could learn how to make people feel like the way he made me feel that day, like. You know, yeah, I would just, I just want to, I just wanted to share it with the world and like. And how did that make you feel? Ah, oh, girl, like a release of everything and just like dancing. It, it was just like love on the oh dance floor, you know, yes, it was just like exactly free and just like dancing time. and yeah. So, so yeah. And then I just started, you know, collecting music and, um, you know, trying to DJ. Yeah. And, <laughs> we all got to start I, somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> so um, I DJed for a while, like, just at my house. You know, it was just it's my practicing. hobby and stuff. Um, but yeah, but I'm maybe I want to say eight years I've been DJing, just like at home. And then two years ago, my friends were like, come on, you should come out and like, just try it. And I was always scared to do it. Oh, my God. But then, yeah. And I did it. Um, a few times I got invited out to parties and it was cool, but I didn't feel completely comfortable. So I kind of backed off a little bit and then December, that's when I decided like, 
you know what? I have this itch in me. You know, it's just there. Just like, do it. I'm just going to take Go care. for it. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. And I, I know exactly how you feel because I'm a commercial DJ. I've been doing it for eight years. But all my friends are like, hey, you should come out and play and all that. But yeah. it's different. It's a different experience. Yeah. And I, it's kind of like a, I get scared, too. I'm uh-huh. like, I don't know, because I, there, a lot of my friends are DJs and I feel that like they're just going to be judging me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you do a great job. So Thank you got you. it going on. Thank and what's you. the story behind your name, Kali? So this name I came up with a while ago. Um, and it was just, it's just, a, a Hindu goddess Ooh. and yeah, it means the goddess of creation and destruction, I believe. Wow. So I just liked it. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, bad. <laughs> that's badass, you yeah. know? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And can you tell me what was your very first gig like? My very first gig, it was in Mexico, it was like three years ago and it was cool, like, I had uh, like three people dancing, and I was hey, so happy. You were yeah. so, I was you're like, to all my fans yeah. out there, <laughs> like, hey. three people. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I was scared, of course, but once I saw, like, it doesn't matter if it's one person or two people or whatever. But as long as there's the like, vibe, yeah, right? and like, and if even if somebody's going like this, I'm a happy girl. I know, you right? know? At, at yeah. least they're feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> so you said you started. Uh, in, in DJing here in San Diego, like barely in December. Is that what you said? Yeah, I started. Okay. So my first gig here in San Diego, I believe, was um, I want to say February. Oh, cool. oh yeah, it was it's February recent. at El Camino. Do you do you and find it cool. difficult to break into San Diego scene? Um, yes, if you're new and you don't know anybody. Mm. But I've been part of the house music community for a long time. Okay. So I think that's what helped me. That was an advantage. That's what helped yeah. me too. You know, I've always been supporting and I've always been like hanging out. And yeah, like you're part of the fam, the community. Exactly. So um, so I think that helped me a lot. Like people already know me and they trust me and they know that I have, I've learned from the best. Yeah, you know? of course. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah. And who would you say is your number one fan? My number one fan? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to say my son Aww. or my husband. Yeah, they're my number one fan. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's great to have that support system. Yeah, but they're my also number one critics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, constructive criticism can be nice. Yeah, I but, love it. But, you know, especially coming from people that love you and that have seen you grown. Exactly. So it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's well, Thank cool. you for sharing. Yeah. Thanks. What can I expect in the first half of the mix? Um, first half of the mix, I have a little bit of vocals and then, um, I think I have a little bit of, uh, yeah, the vocals are deep house and then it goes into like a little new disco. Mm, I feel it. Something like that. All right. Perfect. I think we're ready to get down in this building. People are not ready. Well, actually, there's no one around, so we can party all night (laughs) long. (laughs) All right, people, we'll be back in 10 minutes for the longer part of the interview. So stay tuned. And you're listening to KCR College Radio, the award-winning Sound of State. House is a way of life, (laughs) y'all. That's right. (laughs) Do you house or do you not house? (laughs) It's so funny. One time I saw this meme, and it said, like, like, how do you know if it's house music? Because every song says house in it. Like, you listen to house music, or this is house. Have you noticed that? A yeah. lot of the house songs, it's like, house, house. Yeah. You know just you're to here in house. You, yeah. Just to remind you where you're at, you know? <laughs> just in case you forgot. Yeah, I love yeah. that song, like, house every weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, house pride, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we are, here back. But um, before the interview... You already know I got to make some announcements that are like 100% outdated. <laughs> so I'm, I'll, I'll keep it short. Fan of podcast, make sure to tune in on KCR On Demand, the newest platform of entertainment from your radio hosts here at SDSU. Find us on Apple Podcasts and SoundCloud at KCR College Radio. Also, North Park's Observatory is an amazing venue that you, yeah, you can win tickets to. So make sure to stay connected with us on social media to hear about all of our ticket giveaways at KCR College Radio or via 
KCRlive.com. All right. We got that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to know, how do you prepare for your sets? Do you have like any ritual or something that you do before you DJ? I try to calm myself down <laughs> and to tell myself that everything's going to be okay. Um, I'm getting better at it. I'm get, gaining more confidence. And I think it's, well, thanks to the people that, you know, come out and support me and just like, and dance. Yes, queen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Um, yeah, I used to get nervous. Now I'm more like, I know my song, you know? So sometimes I prepare and like, I'll create like kind of a playlist of what I think people are going to want to hear. Mm -hmm. But then I'll just totally go somewhere else it just depends on what the crowd wants so do you have like a like a playlist already pre-made or do you kind of do it on the spot or like a little no, bit of both like I'll yeah maybe like a little bit of both kind of feel the crowd yeah yeah but I'll I will make like a playlist not yeah I guess a, yeah a yeah set like some of songs set, yeah. that I think that yeah it the makes crowd sense like. and I always try to have new songs um like look for new songs you know like um commercial house i don't know not commercial but just like songs that are like pop in and that are just just came out yeah you know? that's awesome yeah yeah you you gotta like keep up with the times but also like just kind of blend in like new or exactly yeah. or all like the demographics yeah yeah like you were talking about like i have some future house tracks you know but Sometimes I'm like, well, if I play this right now, will the crowd like like yeah. think this? Or and then you get the music purists. That's not real deep house, right? right? <laughs> exactly. All right, go home. <laughs> if you can't have fun. <laughs> okay. So true. I would like to know. What would you like to know? Okay. <laughs> Do you remember know? an event where something just went wrong, like something <laughs> like you oh, bombed? Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, it was in Mexico, it was, but it was really bad. Oh. Like, you know, you have the people that go overboard with whatever they're doing, and it's just, um, yeah, they just fall on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, people, if you don't know how to, like, control yourself, don't do it. It's scary. No. And it ruins everybody else's fun. No, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I that, know. That, scary. That is scary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, on a lighter <laughs> That's note. That's the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> on a lighter note, what's the event that made the biggest impact in your life? BPM. Me Mexico. Ooh. Like, a few years ago. Music festival. Have you ever, you haven't been? I haven't been. No? Well, I guess it's me, not actually. in Mexico anymore. They oh, do really? it. Yeah, they do it in other places. But um, But, yeah, that's when I was like, damn, like, people really like this. <laughs> like, okay, there's other people like me, you know? Because exactly. back in the day here in San Diego, the scene was really small, you know? Like, well, it's I think it's still yeah, small. Yeah, it is a niche community, definitely. Yeah, but still, it was, like, way smaller. So when I found out about this festival, I went, yeah, I went to Mexico, and I was just, like, blown away about, of, like, how many people were out, like, dancing yeah. to house music. That's that how I really felt dope. my first rave, too. I was like, whoa, what is this magical world yeah. that I've never been to <laughs> exactly. before? Exactly. Where the hell have I been? I know. <laughs> and then you never look back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Down That's the right. rabbit hole forever. Exactly. Rave to the grave. <laughs> you don't even remember how to dance any other, mu like, right? to any other music. I know. It's so funny. When when I was like in Europe and I, we were doing a bar crawl and a lot of these places were playing like hip hop or whatever. I'm like, I'm not having fun. <laughs> How do you where's shake your house? body again? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where's the house in techno? <laughs> I know. But yeah, yeah it's so it's funny. True. You just get, you just grow so much love for a certain genre or music, and you just can't. Yep. Okay, so yeah. what is your favorite place to DJ at? Oh, man, that's a hard one. I like to DJ anywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have a. I don't think I've played out that many times. To say like this is my favorite mm -hmm. favorite spot. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's fair. Is that fair. Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> okay. So, what would be like your dream collaboration? Oh, I was just talking about this. Um, Solomon. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I want to be in his show. Like he has a like a Solomon plus one at I believe it's Pasha 
Ibiza. Oh, nice. Yeah. Damn. That would be the dream. Make it come true. Yeah, soon. Soon. Yes, I love that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I would like to highlight that you're originally from Tecate. Yes, you guys I have am. the best pan dulce, yes, eh? <laughs> Pueblo yes, Magico, do. yeah. Yeah. And I think it's pretty cool because I'm from TJ, from I Tijuana, know, so it's not enough. that far. It's not that far. Yeah, and good. if you're comfortable sharing, when and why did you decide to move to San Diego? Um, it kind of like life brought me here, really. Like it was, it was just when I was younger, we um we moved from Mexico. Yeah, we moved from Tecate when I was twelve. Me and too. When really? I was 12. 12? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then first we were in, like, close to L.A., so San Pedro. We okay. used to live there. And then family just brought us back to El Cajon. That's where I grew up in El Cajon. And then um, went back to Mexico. And then I was there for a couple of years. And I was like, all right, back to San Diego. <laughs> I don't know. It was just kind of like this is where I was going to live. I kind of never really thought about it. Yeah. I never thought about like why yeah i just kind of ended up here like, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice city i could live here for yeah, a couple of years it is, <laughs> it's beautiful it, it is it is and you know learning to adapt like to a new country like mm-hmm. i i learned english during elementary school so it wasn't that bad so but... you learned english when you were in mexico yeah okay yeah me too yeah because we were, were border we're right at the border exactly you know so i mean i used to watch the shows that were from here yeah. on TV. Or so listen I, to music in English. Or yeah, whatever. exactly. So it just kind of, it was natural to learn English. For yeah, me as well. yeah, same here. Yeah. Do you think your binational identity has an effect in the way you think about music or the industry in general? Um, my. Like your binational identity, the fact that you're Mexican American, like, like the musical influences, anything to do? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think house is like international it it like it can just like anybody can like house you know i don't think (laughs) it has anything to do with where you're from i think yeah cool i don't think it affects it great i just i I haven't been to the scene in mexico so i'm I'm not sure and you've played in both mexico and in the u.s right yeah so what are some of the differences that you've noticed between both scenes oh well mexico they like they like hard like music you know like techno or tech house they like they love tech house okay i don't know about they don't i don't think they're into the deep house yet okay that i know of maybe slowly i'll i'll start introducing (laughs) it to them (laughs) i love it yeah yeah Yeah. by the way i feel like i always have a special connection with latina women yeah because like we know what's up yeah and from the first time I met you, you were always so nice and you have like this, you carry this great vibe around you. And I think Thank it's you. really hard to find between women because as we were talking earlier, mm-hmm. women on women hate it's real. Mm-hmm. Have you felt support from fellow female artists in the scene or would you say it's like really competitive? You would be surprised. I thought it was going to be worse, like, you know, just hating on each other or whatever. But, um, yeah i've no nothing but love from other girls you know Mm -hmm. and i think because we feel it like now i think we're kind of we kind of opened our eyes a little bit to realize that if we keep fighting with each other like we're not gonna get far you know we need to unite and i think um we're stronger together i agree because we've been conditioned to be insecure Mm -hmm. Uh, with our body image criticize each other and be competitive yeah and like talk behind each other's back exactly and be fake and it's so sad yeah why why are we hitting each other like that so much when we like you say we should unite like we already have our specific struggles to deal with yeah exactly no and luckily i found a collective of girls i was gonna ask DJ. you the like, girls all yeah, around yeah tell me about your out. collaboration it's with them. so cool um so they invited me out to play one night in tj and from there kind of like you know we just felt the vibe you, like you were saying you just feel the vibe and we connected and um they invited me out another time in rosarito and for this festival and then we just stayed up until after the festival we stayed up until 6 a.m just like vibing you know with all the girls and 
And yeah, they asked me if I wanted to be a part of their collective. And I was so stoked because I wanted to be a part of something like that, you know, like be around more women in the industry and, and, you know, just learn from them. And then whatever I can teach them, they can, you know, learn from me too. Yeah. What's something that you've learned from hanging out with this collective? That we can do anything. (laughs) <laughs> yes yeah that's one of the things like nothing can stop us like if somebody else can do it we can do it too that's beautiful yeah. and what are your thoughts on the representation of women in the music industry um some of them suck the way they represent us but then some of them are really good too you know like it's not always about i don't know i think house music scene should be different and It shouldn't just be about um, boobs out and, you know, like, (laughs) like sexuality is cool. And yeah, they hypersexualize women. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I think um, we should we shouldn't do that to house music. I think we we should, you know, break the barriers and like get over that whole sexual like yeah you know like and let your you let your music speak for yourself exactly that's what i think i mean we're all beautiful you know i'm sure these girls are beautiful don't get and me you're wrong. so are you you're gorgeous <laughs> watch out to your husband because <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> nah, <he's> you're gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so i mean there's a lot of girls out there that are very um they're good at what they do i don't think they need to do all that other stuff, you know. Okay. And yeah. do you think it's more difficult to women to make it in a male dominated industry like is the music industry? Or is it just mm. mental? Like do you think women are blocking themselves or is it the industry? I don't know. I think guys do play a role. Okay. They do because maybe I don't know, maybe they get a little intimidated or Are they I'm doubt? not sure. Yeah, or maybe they th- they just think we're not good enough, you know? But like I said, we got to break those barriers and, like, show them, you know, that that we can also do it. And we have really good taste in music, too, not just them. Exactly. And what do you think the industry or everyone should be doing to be more inclusive to women? Support your local female DJs. Yeah, support. <laughs> we're, we're out here. There's not a lot of us. You know, but we're out here and um, yeah, just support us. Give us a chance. You know, we might we might shock you. We might surprise you. We might surprise you. Yeah, we might surprise you. All right. And do you feel like there's a pressure for you to look perfect all the time because you're a woman? I don't think so, because I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, (laughs) oops, I I can't. uh, It's fine. (laughs) Um, yeah, everyone I always guess. like cousins and I'm always too late. There's a dump button here that I'm supposed to press. And like whenever Whoopsie. someone says something, I'm like, I, I'm delayed. I'm like, wait. Sorry, I didn't know no, I wasn't allowed. No, to... it's, it's okay. Sorry. You know, it's like it's an AM station. I don't think many people okay. are listening. I don't know. FCC. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you don't. And you embrace your femininity. Like you. Yeah, you I like, like to look pretty sometimes. Sometimes I don't sometimes i post pictures when i'm just like without makeup or just yeah. whatever you know mm-hmm. like i don't look like this all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah but same here i like... think we just gotta keep it real like there's so many fake things out there now i think if you're just real and you're just yourself then then i think that people will accept that easier and i think people will notice too yeah and people that are attuned to their intuition will be quick to say, okay, this person's legit. Like, it's yeah. not fake. Like, so. Yeah. I appreciate Great. it. Cool. Yeah. All right. We're, we're, we're in a good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what advice would you give women who want to be successful in the industry? <sighs> be a bat. <laughs> be a bat <laughs> bee. <laughs> yeah. Don't give up. I mean, if somebody says no, just keep doing what you want to do. Don't give up. Don't listen to the haters and don't listen to people that are trying to tell you that you can't do something. Because you can, you do, can it. do it. You can do Just it. Just like Rosie the River. Like, yeah. Yeah, you can it. do it. It's all a matter of time, like I say. You know, if you put your time and you practice and you 
go out there and you do it over and over again, you know, you're going to fall, but you're going to get up and you're yeah. going to succeed. Yeah, eventually. Exactly. Eventually. And failure is part of life, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. So we just have to keep moving forward. I agree. Follow the dreams. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And don't give up. Don't give up. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges you have faced in your career so far? Challenges. one huh i don't know everything's been great <laughs> it has That's but good. i mean i'm sure i mean i think myself i think sometimes I'm my we're, biggest critic yeah, and I, i put myself I down like more than anybody <laughs> you know i'm like but i'm i'm working on it i'm trying to change that mentality you know and yeah. just tell myself that it's all good Everyone even if i people. make mistakes you know the first night i played out um i made the biggest mistake that I could ever make but I I put it in my head because I was so insecure I was so scared I was so nervous that it had to happen you know because I subconsciously put it in my head mm -hmm. and then it happened and I was like all right like, the worst that could happen and happen let's move uh, on now you know <laughs> the yeah. self-fulfilling prophecy yeah <laughs> like exactly. you, you you were thinking negatively so it yeah happened. so it happened so you have to like stay optimistic Agreed. And it can be hard, of course, and especially like when you're your biggest critic. I know, I know, I am. Yeah. Sometimes, like, I don't like to rewatch the the episodes because yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I said like oh, like 20 times girl, or whatever. I won't even look. <laughs> I probably won't even watch it. <laughs> so, like, I feel it's you. It's scary. Oh, or like somebody recording my set and telling me like a live set, right, and telling me, hey, like, do you do you want me to email it to you? No, no. I don't want to do. And it everybody hears. Everybody listens to it and everybody thinks it sounds good, you know, yeah. but then I'm the one that's telling yeah. myself. Well, like, let's not be like that. Let's, I know. Let's rewatch this. Yeah, okay? let's, let's make a let's make a deal. Let's like rewatch that. it and like be courageous to I like uh, that. appreciate the good parts and also like our flaws Learn. because we're we're human. Yeah. We're imperfect. So and I, I've noticed that sometimes it helps when I watch it because I'm like, okay, I should like not slouch anymore, or like be mindful of my filler words or whatever. Yeah. So um, it helps, even though sometimes it's it's hard to watch like cringy, uh -huh. right? Yeah. But we we're gonna <laughs> yeah. do it, okay? Sounds And good. we're gonna give each other feedback. Okay. Okay. I agree. Cool. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. All right. So what gives you motivated to continue in in your musical journey? Um, I. Okay, when I do something, I try to do it all the way. So that's what I tell myself. Same. Like, 100. Yeah, like, budget. Budget. Do it. You <laughs> yeah. know, like, just keep going. Like, you're not there yet. Like, what was my biggest, my biggest goal? And that's just, I just try to keep focused on that and keep moving forward and learn from my mistakes, you know, but just keep going. That's yeah, we, we never stop like, learning. Eyes on the prize, you know? I love that. Yeah, that's always been my thing, like, eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. That's your Don't that's forget. Your <laughs> Don't forget. Yeah. Okay, I hope, I hope the prize is good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, what are some of the things that you value the most in your life? Family has to be my number one. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's a, that's a common theme. And my theme. time. Yeah, time, time is valuable. Is, time is very valuable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, life's short and you only have so many hours in your day and you feel like you want to do so many things, but then you can't. And sometimes it can drag on or it can go by really fast. Like we're really like halfway through the year. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I know. Oh. So you got to live life to the fullest. Yeah, for sure. If you think you want to do something or if go for you're it. scared of doing something that's what you should go for get out of your comfort right. zone yeah totally i love that so what do you enjoy to do in your free time oh man i love to chill i love to just be in my house because you know we go out a lot we try to go out almost every weekend Well, we try not to, but we <laughs> always end up to doing something. Yeah, I feel you. Um, so I guess it would be chill or I love to travel. Yeah. I love to travel. What What's like the favorite place that you've visited so far? If you I can mean, find. the l game changer was Ibiza. When oh, I went to the island oh my God. A couple years ago. That's in, that's in my bucket list. Yeah. That's like that's a, a must. I was going to say that that. 
probably one of my life changing moments too because that's when I realized like that I did want to DJ because that was just like it blew my mind so many good music girl like you're just like we got in the cab and there's like this banging music I'm like <laughs> whoa what, what DJ is this he's like it's just the radio I'm like, what Oh yeah. right, damn! Yeah, I gotta, go. I gotta check it out. Yeah, Girl, I've never been go. to Spain. Yeah, You're gonna let's love go. It. You're gonna love it. <laughs> awesome. So, we're about to wrap up the this part of the interview, and I want to finish with a question that I always ask all my guests. Okay. And what are your thoughts on San Diego's electronic music scene? You can start with the positive aspects, and then mm -hmm. with something that needs improvement. Um, I feel location. We need more locations. Um, yeah, I agree. I love the warehouse parties. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like we need more warehouse. More warehouses. More warehouses. Because, yeah. <laughs> more spaces. More spaces. I think that, uh, yeah. What else could be something that needs to be improved? Do I have time? Because. Yeah, you got, you got like, I know, right? Like, I got a whole list. Um, Maybe more, I should have asked you this in the beginning. Need, we need more female artists, for yes, sure. 100. I don't see a lot out there, you know? You're so right. I think um, girls should play out more. Support female artists. Yeah, totally. Whoever's watching this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Book her right now. <laughs> and not just me. And There's yeah, other girls, oh, yeah, of too, course. you know? Yeah. Okay. But I think. That's the only thing that I can think of right now. But and any any great oh, things. Oh, maybe not using plastic. Like being better with their trash. Oh, you my. know, yeah. Like no, you're not right. selling plastic. You know, just being like I don't know, be more creative in that aspect. Like make paper cups or something. Something <laughs> or like bring your own cup. Like I oh, yeah, did like it at my did. party. <laughs> you know, that was smart. I'm not buying any plastic. You bring guys can bring cup. your own cup. Yeah, yeah something that, like yeah. that. You know, I'm, I'm sure people will be down for that. There's yeah. more people in this world that want to uh, help to make the world a better place. So Aww. I think if we put it out there. Okay. Work. You heard it. Bring your own cup. You should spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lastly, <laughs> if you could be any superhero, who would you be? Uh, Wonder Woman. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> I love that. Same. It's funny. Like, uh, my friend Wes that uh, interviewed me like last month, he gave me like a big life size cut out of Wonder oh, Woman. I love it. And I have it in, in my house, just like standing there. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah. With the whip, too. I love the whip. Oh, yeah. girl. I would do so you, many oh, things. You don't even know. <laughs> I like whipping people. <laughs> Anyways. All right. That's all right. TMI. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. That's it. And, uh, yeah, really? I told you. That was great. You, you were nervous. I loved it. I was nervous at the beginning, but you made me feel comfortable. Oh, so thank you for that's having what I strive me. for. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. being here. You're awesome, yeah, and me too. and you're beautiful, and you're me too. amazing inside and out. And I'm really happy thank to you. have you here. And I think it's time to hear the rest of your mix. Sounds good. Hope you guys like it. Yeah, they're loving it. And we'll be back in less than 10 minutes to. Just finalize the interview, like two more questions, and it will be done. So see you in a bit. Hey, people. This is groovy. <laughs> Loving it. I'm like, I know we're, we're, we've been, like, talking during the break, but I'm like. I know. I like, I, moving. Like, I saw your eyes like, oh, what's this song? Like, okay, okay. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay. I want to know if you have any upcoming events. I do. I have a Mexico City gig that I'm really oh. excited about. Really? Mexico what? What City. is it? Tell me about it. Um. So Miguel Puente is going to be headlining. I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but he's a Mexican um, upcoming. I don't think he's upcoming. I think he's been around. <laughs> he's I mean, been around. But he's dope. He's really dope. His music selection is on point. So I'm super excited to be on the same lineup as him and um. Louis Fresco, which is one of our Baja. I think he's from the Baja. Oh, the Baja damn, I got to check them out. Yeah, Baja bro. Okay. And um, yeah, he's in Mexico City right now. Has a residency at Japan Ciudad de Mexico. So it should be so cool. really exciting. What's the name of the event? Um, well, it's a Ciudad de Mexico. It's a, a Japan club oh, okay, okay. in Mexico City. Awesome. Yeah. And, okay, what does the future hold for Cali? Oh, I hope more gigs. 
and more party and dancing and, and good times. Yeah, and good times. And I mean, I have a studio at home. I, you know, I've been mm -hmm. telling you that I'm moving, so mm -hmm. I have to get my studio together again. But um, I've been trying to produce for a few years now, and I always get distracted. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hard work. It's a lot of time spent, like yeah. hours and hours on the computer trying to get the right sound. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's future Kali, you know. Yeah, okay, maybe we can expect some, some original out. sound. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Awesome. So do you have any last shout-outs or anything that you want your fans to know? No, just I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that's been supporting me and making me feel at home in San Diego and um yeah and thank you for dancing and thank you for listening to my music awesome thanks everyone who's been supporting Kelly and me of course thanks to everyone that's yeah. been watching and listening and leaving comments and everything we see you on the <laughs> yeah. on the Facebook shout Yay. out to the hubby thank you <laughs> And I hope you all enjoyed this show. As always, I will be uploading everything on my YouTube channel this weekend so you can share with the world. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Bye. Thank you.